Welcome back. Today, we're going to go through the most famous magicians to ever exist, but in each country. So I'm not going to name like 10 American magicians. Oh, no, no. We're going to name the country and the most famous magician to exist ever in that country. My name is Wes Barker. I am a professional magician. You may have seen me on such things as credits, shows, TV credits, and other credits and YouTube videos and credits. So today, uh, let's just go through some of the uh, most famous magicians but by country. Where better to start than my own country, Canada? The most famous magician ever in Canada. No, 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 not me. It's Doug Henning. Doug Henning was so popular in the 1970s. A lot of people don't know about him today, but he was the guy. He had a Broadway show that was sold out for years. He had like 10 specials on NBC where he would do like a live magic show on NBC and it was always different. 10, that's crazy. He also started large scale magic shows in Las Vegas. The reason that Las Vegas and magic go hand in hand right now is because of Doug Henning. Let's jump to the United States of America. Who is the most famous magician ever to exist in the US of A? David Copperfield. Now I know there's a long list of people that it could be, okay? It could be David Blaine. It could be Chris Angel. It could be Penn and Teller, but it is David Copperfield. He has been an icon. He is actually maybe one of the most famous names in the entire world at all. He's, he, he's literally a living legend. How could it not be him? Made the Statue of Liberty disappear. This guy has been relevant for like, I don't know, 40 years? It's a long time. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think David Copperfield might have been the first ever performer ever in any like music, anything to become a billionaire. That's how crazy a career David Copperfield has had. He has been everywhere and done everything. It's gotta be David. It's gotta, it, it's gotta be David Copperfield. England, who England, tough, long history of magic in England. Yeah, I went back and forth on this one. I'm gonna go Darren Brown. I'm gonna say Darren Brown. Darren Brown is a mentalist. Uh, if you're in the UK, you know who Darren Brown is. That's how famous he is. Over in America, Canada, not as famous, but I mean, Google it. Darren Brown is the man. There is a great argument to be made for Paul Daniels. I mean, if you look at Paul Daniels, he had a, he had like a prime time show in the UK, in England, about, uh, I think it was called Paul Daniels Magic Hour, maybe? It ran for like 15 years. Paul Daniels was a legend in magic. And maybe, maybe he beats out Darren Brown, but Darren Brown really has broken out of England and he had a Broadway show in the States and he pops up in TV shows here and there and his Netflix shows have, have just such a wide audience there. So as much as I want to say Paul Daniels, I'm going to say Darren Brown. France. France has a couple legends as well. When magic was really becoming popular on stage, France had a lot to do with it. And again, I'm of two minds. In one way, it was Robert Houdin, but that's only because he stopped a war with a magic trick and Houdini took his name from Robert Houdin. Right, Houdin, Houdini, okay? Like, Houdin-like is what Houdini sort of means. Uh, but Alexander Herman is probably the guy. Back in his day, he was the man. He didn't become that popular in Europe. That was like his brother, Carl, sort of did that. But Alexander Herman, Herman the Great, well, he came to America in like, I don't know what year, but in like the 1870s, he was the biggest selling magic illusionist act of his time. Like he was so popular. His brother, Carl Herman, stayed in Europe because they were doing very similar acts. And, and they said, okay, okay, brother Carl, you stay in Europe and, 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 and make a fortune over there being a, an illusionist and a magician. I'm gonna go to America and I'm gonna make my fortune there. And I mean, he really did. Uh, he, he, he was one of those magicians back in that time where he was doing the bullet catch. It was, it was a showstopper. He was amazing. And he influenced stage magic in America and around the world pretty heavily. I mean, whoo, Herman the Great. Okay, now let's quickly jump over to China because this one's kind of interesting. The most famous magician ever out of China is Chung Ling Su. I feel like people that know a bit about magic are kind of yelling at the screens right now. It's true, Chung Ling Su was not Chinese. He was American. 
He was literally dressing up as a Chinese person. He was pretending to be Chinese. He would dress up everything, pretending to be Chinese, the full get up and he would perform. And he was like the most famous magician from China ever. He was the most popular act in his day, making millions of dollars. And he wasn't even Chinese. He stole his act from Chung Ling Fu. So Chung Ling Su became so famous in America, and that's why we know about him. He actually died doing the bullet catch. I mean, we just talked about Herman the Great doing a bullet catch. Well, Chung Ling Su did a bullet catch as well, and that's how he died. And no one knew he wasn't Chinese until the day he died. He got shot and he said in perfect English, Oh my God, something's happened. Lower the curtain. And that's when everyone realized it was all just a, an act. So, Chung Ling Su is kind of, because he's super famous and everyone thought he was Chinese. The real guy who was super famous in China was Chung Ling Fu. Not Chung Ling Su, Chung Ling Fu. Now Chung Ling Su saw Chung Ling Fu's act and he completely ripped it off. And obviously those two had a huge feud about it. But back in the day, I mean, it wasn't as easy as going on Facebook and calling someone out. So th there was like, the rivalry existed, but it wasn't well known and, and spectators were just handing their money in to uh, the fake Chung Ling Fu and watching his show in America. And it's just, it's too bad because Chung Ling Fu, I mean, that guy, that's the guy, Chung Ling Fu. What a magician. Let's go to Spain real quick. It was hard for me to find one in Spain. I don't know, because I don't speak Spanish. So I'm sure all the good websites are in Spanish. But we have Juan Tamariz. Now, Juan Tamariz is like a legend in the magic community. I am not from Spain. I don't speak Spanish. I don't know how popular he is as far as like selling tickets, theater shows, TV shows. I'm not sure. And I would love to know in the comments. As a magician, Juan Tamariz is like he is he is so important in magic. Oh my god, this guy has had so many brilliant ideas. He has just he's just a, a master, a legend, a goat. I mean, for me as a magician, Juan Tamariz, I mean, the most the most famous magician in Spain. But please, let me know who's selling tickets. I would also be interested in that. Hungary. If you're from Hungary, then you guys win. You have the claim to fame uh, showstopper ended here, Hungary. Hungary is the birthplace of the world's greatest, most famous magician of all time. You guessed it, Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini is from Hungary and his real name is Eric Weiss, but he changed it to Harry Houdini because he wanted to be more commercially sellable in America and he wanted to take his name from uh, Robert Houdin, the one we talked about earlier, so he came up with Harry Houdini great name, a little alliteration, Houdini sounds a little bit magic-y. I think it was a great idea from a marketing standpoint and Harry Houdini was a marketing genius, not to mention King of Cards, the world's greatest escape artist, the master of all things, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he was, he was a marketer first and foremost, not to say he wasn't a great magician, but the reason we know him better than anyone else is because he was number one marketer guy for sure. If he was here right now, he would have like PewDiePie numbers on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like he was he was that kind of guy, right? He would be Mr. Beast of right now. Okay, creative, smart, that was the guy. But Hungary, your country, that is the birthplace of the world's greatest magician, a name that will never be forgotten, Harry Houdini. I've saved the best for last. Who is the greatest magician ever to exist and which country are they from well that's easy it's uh kim jong-un of north korea i've heard he is the world's greatest magician i've heard he can talk to dolphins i'm i've heard that once he played golf and he scored 18 he got a hole in one on every hole i've heard these things i mean i'm not saying who knows but if you ask north korea i mean he's the greatest magician so maybe it's it's kim jong-un i don't know Anyways, I know I missed 190 countries probably. So please, in the comments, let me know who is your country's greatest magician of all time. I want to know. Please inform me. Take care, everyone. See you in the next one.